What's up? I just did a video about Nancy Grace, and this one I'm doing about two teachers that you see before you, and it's kind of sad. Like uh, this teacher is named Martin Springer, and this was guy name is Mark Brenton, Brenter, something like that, and. They work at an elementary school out of L.A. And it's kind of sad that these te two teachers, uh, it actually goes it goes about every teacher out there. How many, if you're a parent, I think you need to turn this up. And I think you need to watch it and send it to every parent, friends that are parents too, so they can watch this because these this video needs to be watched by parents and and the the language in this video is going to be viewer this question uh, kind of like grown up like the kids should be leaving the room the kids should leave the room because this video well these two teachers Martin Springer and Mark Brenter Brenter has been molesting kids in school like like Springer has been charged on several counts of child molestation of two he has been charged for two key uh two uh two molestation charges against two two girls and he he had like a big bond and they dropped the charges they dropped the charges because one girl retract her statement. That's Mark Springer. That's the one that got let go and wasn't charged for being a pedophile and, a, and molesting a student in school. A child retracted her statement. Why would a child retract her statement unless something is up? This guy, Mark Brenton, Bearman, he is this, oh, the most disgusting. I thought uh, about hearing teacher having sex with students in high school was bad. No, this guy takes the cake. Working at an elementary school, having students love him for who he is, but they did not know what he was doing to them. He was a third grade teacher. He set up there and gave certain kids cookies with a liquid gooey substance, substance on it. He would actually blindfold the kids and put cockroaches on their faces and bodies while feeding them a spoonful of liquid gooey substance to the kids. He is in the liquid gooey substance that was on the, sp on the spoon and on the cookie was his semen. He was feeding the student semen. His semen. Back in the 90's this man told there's been students that told this back in the late 90s no, the 90s said that he had a jar of Vaseline and his hands was always at his crotch area and you get to 2000 there's been students saying the same things they see the jar of Vaseline and his hands in his crotch feeding them semen cookies and feeding them semen, semen on the spoon. And his bond is so high, $25 million. And these fuckers are in L.A. doing this to your fucking kids. How can you trust teachers today when you got people like this getting jobs at elementary schools? daycares, high schools, 
middle schools, private schools, molesting your kids like they have. It was bad enough when the first one teacher got caught in the 90s. Y'all remember her, don't you? She was married, had three girls with her husband. She fell in love with a 15-year-old student, had sex with him, got pregnant by him. She got arrested for having sex with a minor, went to jail, got out on probation, and the ju and the justice system said you cannot contact him or see him or come near him. When she had that baby, her husband left. Her husband divorced her took the three kids, three girls, she had that third, she had her fourth child, and she did it again, she ended up getting put in prison, again pregnant with his second child, and now the woman is married to her long time victim, and you see this on the news every day, and not now one of these people are busting a damn grave to put an end to this. I is getting to a point where I cannot trust teachers to teach my kids if I had kids. I cannot trust teachers to teach a child when I when in the back of my mind thinking that he was gonna molest he or she was gonna molest these children. They sit there and he's and he's and these schools sit up there and they say, oh, we do background checks. Two types. One to see if you ever been in jail. One is the to for like job, like uh, how many jobs do you have? Is it a good work and all like the regular non background check. And the second one is for sex offenders. Now half these people, half, half of sex offenders can go under the radar without being detected. And get and get jobs at school. It's just the government is like the justice system is failing us so badly that they're allowing teachers to feed the kids semen, and that's bad. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. And ain't nobody doing nothing. See, it's going to me. I say like this. I think when they hire a teacher, that they should run their prints into the database to see if they have molested kids, been charged with molest molestation, and all like that. Have them go through the search by fingerprints or DNA instead of doing background checks because background checks is, is not helping much as it should. DNA and fingerprints, I think they should do that to see if they are being if they've been charged with being a pedophile. And it and it continues on it continues on today where these schools know they have no how many schools in America know that some of their teachers are pedophile but not and would not say nothing and 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 it's kind of sad that these people And it, it's more messed up to see this and that these teachers are molesting your kids in school and you don't even know it till later. And they wonder why kids are so emotionally scarred. Because this happens in the schools too. Too much. And it makes me sick to sit here knowing that the people I trust to teach my kids are the ones that are molesting my kids. These are the people that are supposed to fill my kids full of, head full of information on history, math, algebra, 
geography, science, life science, so on and so forth, are raping or molesting kids and doing God knows what behind closed doors in the school. You can't run to your congressman demanding for them to do something because none of them are going to do jack shit until that happens to their kids. And it's bad to see that you turn on it. Mark Byrne. Mark Byrne is his name. The guy in the mustache is his name, Mark Byrne. Now, it's sad to see that. Um, see, when, see, congressmen's not going to do nothing until it happens to their kids. When that happens to their kids, they're ready to be like every other parent, ready to beat that ass. And it said that my, it said that these kids got to go to school and get an education and get molested at the same time. That's gonna fuck them up more. It said to sit there and think about what did these people do behind the classroom door when nobody's around or the janitorial door. I'm for real though. I think they need to start, when they start doing this shit start hiring teachers they need to take their asses down to the police station fingerprint them DNA take DNA let them run it through some tests to see if they are have been charged with child molestation or owning kitty porn anything that has to do with child molestation or child or being a pedophile I think they need to start doing that just so our kids can be safe because they can fill out an application give a fake fucking name a fake security number and get a job and people will not know who the fuck they really are that's why I'm saying DNA and fucking fingerprints to see who the fuck these teachers really are are they really pedophiles or some motherfuckers or a real teacher a real person that is not a pedophile because this is happening in every school across the nation not even not just in United States even in Canada and even in other countries this is getting to be a problem when they allow teachers to rape kids from daycare all the way to high school maybe even into college and they're get and they're getting away with it until somebody speaks up until somebody speaks up about it and it's, it's that fucking bad that these two guys that I'm showing one is out on the one one of them is free Springer is free He's not related. I don't know if he's related. I don't think he's related to Jerry Springer. But Springer, the guy without the mustache with the gray shirt, is free to walk the streets to get another teaching job so he can molest your child in school on school hours. And Mark Brenner, he is in jail on a $25,000 po uh, His bond is $25 million. His bond is $25 million. And he has been feeding kids semen, his own semen, with a jar of Vaseline in his desk. America, we need to wake up and do something about it because we do not need to go through this every day. Every We don't need to do this. We don't need to sit up there and, and miss this where kids are getting molested every minute no every second every minute every hour every day every week every month every year there's a kid getting raped every second every minute and yo and the parents do not know until it's too late and these and these uh, superintendents and principals and vice principals, they don't want to do shit because they want to protect their own ass. 
how can you try to protect your own ass and you know these teachers are pedophile or you knew they have been molesting certain kids do not trust I will not give I will not give trust to any teacher if this is going to happen every damn day of the week every week of the month every month every year I, can, I will never have trust in the teachers in our school system because they are allowing this to happen too damn much. Too fucking much. And we need to take a stand and do something about these damn teachers molesting the kids. Got a teacher feeding his own semen to kids. Filling on their booties and shit. Making threats. You tell your mom and daddy I kill you. They make death threats after they molest these kids. That's why you never find out about kids getting molested because they threaten them. When they've been threatened at a young age, then that's when you know, that's when you know something's really up. If you notice, if, you know, this is how you can probably notice. If your kid doesn't want to be touched, they've been molested, when they come home from school and they flinch when you trying to give them a hug or a kiss, they been molested by a fucking teacher. When they get out there button you and all that flinching shit, them damn teachers did something to them down at that school. If I was y'all been, if I find out that it, if I had a kid and I find out that my kid's been molested by a teacher, I'm having the army, I'm having the police, I might probably have 10 police officers because when I get done, it's going to be 10 police officers trying to pull my ass off to one of them damn teachers. It's getting bad. It's going to get to a point where a teacher molests the wrong student and the parent comes down there and kills them unless we put a fucking stop to this shit. Unless we put a fucking stop to this shit. Because I'm tired of seeing kids getting molested because the damn school system don't want to do nothing. The justice system don't want to do nothing. The fucking government don't, doesn't want to do nothing. The government does, the, the justice system don't do nothing because they say you can't be 50 feet, 200 feet, 1,000 feet to a school. But if you pull up a map, of pedophiles, they'll be right around the school. There are more pedophiles circling a school, living around the school, than anywhere else. There's more pedophiles in the same neighborhood as a school. And the damn justice system don't do a damn thing about it. We, the neighborhood is supposed to know that a damn pedophile moved into the neighborhood. They don't say nothing. They know there's kids in the neighborhood and they don't and, and the police don't do nothing. I think it's the I think they that, that little bullshit where oh, if you go around telling the neighborhood that this guy's a pedophile, you go to jail. I don't think that should be right. I think they should allow people say this is a pedophile, keep your kids locked up, don't let them go across the street, don't let them take nothing. And it's bullshit. Well, this has been Afro Joe Ten like TI is. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. If you don't like what I got to say, you can kiss my ass. If you do like what I got to say, leave a comment or a video response. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Junior 2, CeeLo Junior 3. Make sure you subscribe to Mother Wookie channel on Mother Wookie. Peace, love, and peace, love, and soul.